Damon, the Global Gardener in the Idaho Botanic Garden in Boise. This is the penitentiary, the old penitentiary. And here we are in the Rose Garden. And it's pandemic times. Uh, so the teacher and the kids have their masks on. Um, so we're not going to go over there. Uh, here are these wine cups, these uh, sort of mallow, interesting ground cover. Uh, here's, a, here's an amaranth. Uh, usually you see them red a lot of times, but uh, these are the, the seeds drooping off there. Wow, this must be a variety of rose that's just covered in rose hips. Um, I want to I wanna taste one. No, they're not that good. Maybe they are dried. They're fairly dry already. But uh, not very flavorful. Usually they have a lot of vitamin C and they're good in tea and stuff. Uh, here's a, a snow in summer. I'm trying to, the botanic name is rumbling around up there. Got some cosmos down here. Behind me, I hear some water. Here's an anemone. Not an enemy, but anemone. Uh, over here, nice patch of that. Those are real hardy and they spread around quite a bit. But they have those nice flowers all year long. And there's a nice patch of stackies. The lamb's ears is the uh, silvery, uh, furry, filled rose, fil furry foliage. Very furry foliage. So this brick pathway goes on a ways. Uh, I want to get over to the water feature over here. Uh, so we'll leave the rose garden and head toward the meditation garden. But first, we'll look at a couple of other things over here. Because I just saw the seed pods of castor. And, and again, the, if you saw the other video, the castor beans are where you get the oil castor oil. This is more of a ornamental variety being red, but these uh, they're very uh, prickly. The, oh, they're, they're still soft. They're not dried yet, but let's look at them up close. They look like Bixa or Zixa, the lipstick plant, where you get the color for coloring for lipstick or a natto for food. This is uh, alyssum, sweet alyssum. Wonderful border with a, with a tremendous scent. Sweet alyssum. A bit of a, we're on a bridge here going over a dry creek bed that is perhaps a drainage for part of the year. And in here, the meditation garden. It's uh, mostly just grass with benches. There's this interesting cage situation. Looks like a child's garden over there. And some various sort of mandala uh, weavings to meditate upon. And swing bench. Let's join us again. And his mom. Here's, some, here's the red amaranth near this water feature. The penitentiary wall goes way down there. These are not exactly cattails, I'm not sure what those are, but there is the water feature. There are all kinds of tadpoles. It's, it's pretty uh, green and, and mossy in the water, so perhaps that water feature doesn't uh, <coughs> mix the water enough. Here's very wonderful tassels of the amaranth. That's a pretty neat situation, a little rasta dread amaranth. I wonder if any of the, yeah, the seeds, a little bit of seeds are falling out. Awesome. Here's a really beautiful 
gate arch. And yeah, this water has some duckweed in it. So the, it's good to help shade the water and then uh, change out the, the oxygen levels. It'll help with that, but it's also a lot of it in a, in a small water body here. Um, here's some flocks across it. P-H-O-L-X across the way here. And um, a juga carpet bugle. It's this nice ground cover. It spreads out really well. Uh, and it's just nice and shaded here. For hot days, this is wonderful. Yeah, there's some interesting those poles back here. I'll just zoom in so I don't have to go across the water to show you those. Just adding some color and verticality to the garden. And there you have it. So there's video two of the Global Gardener in the Idaho Botanic Garden here in Boise, Idaho. See you in the next video.